So what is good y'all, it is Anime K here and we are back with another video and today we're going to be talking about Burrito and Miski's new power-ups and both of them display some great power-ups within this chapter but we're just going to get straight into it. So first of all right, chapter 6 right, Burrito returns to the village right and he tells Sarada and Sumire about everything that's happened. So first of all right, Sasuke is obviously stuck in a tree, he tells Sarada that and also he tells them about the Chlorgrams that have now evolved into Awakened Divine Trees. So let's get into both their power ups and first we're going to start off with Bruto. Now the first power up we see is Bruto is able to mask his chakra because we see that no one else is able to detect that Bruto is in the village apart from Kawaki and when Mitsuki hears this he puts Kawaki to sleep and radios in to Shikamaru asking him can you ask Ada where Bruto is, can she pinpoint his location quickly before he runs away and what's impressive is Bruto has already mastered the ability to mask his own chakra which is an Otosuki exclusive ability and this shows us how he's able to create one of the most disrespectful panels we've seen with Bruto stepping on Code's face and it also explains to us how Bruto was able to run away from Code for the last two years that Code couldn't find him after Sasuke's death. So Bruto in just two years is able to master a pretty hard Otosuki ability right because it must be hard to mask your own chakra or better yet hide your own chakra so it's impressive already that he's able to master that ability and he is living up to that genius title that everyone was giving him and showing that he's more like his grandfather and Sasuke every day separating him from Naruto. Now the next thing we see him use is purple lightning now the first time we see purple lightning used is technically in Kakashi Hiden right because Kakashi creates purple lightning because after the war arc he obviously loses uses his Shigen right so he's not able to use the Chidori because if you remember he was only able to use the Chidori because of his Shigen because before that he wasn't able to control the direction to which he was going and the Shigen helped him with that but he can no longer use that so that's why he created Purple Lightning or oh, I don't know if he was the first one to create it, but he at least started using it right he at least mastered it right now there's been different times where Purple Lightning has been used we've seen it with Sasuke in that last arc of Naruto where he's 19 we see Sasuke use it and also we see Kakashi use it multiple times right most notably against Kash and Kojim. Now we don't really know how strong Purple Lightning is we know it's stronger than the Chidori but we've not really seen it in like a full-on fight but what I will say is it's at least stronger than Chidori for one and two the fact that Bruto is able to master Purple Lightning is still very impressive because he also knows Chidori and all Sasuke's other abilities and he's able to turn it into Purple Lightning in such a short amount of time. Now, I don't know how long it took Kakashi and Sasuke to master Purple Lightning but it's very impressive that he's able to use Purple Lightning and he's also able to funnel Purple Lightning through his sword just like Sasuke. Now where did he learn Purple Lightning? Well the obvious one is he probably learned it from Sasuke right or if not from Sasuke he was probably able to evolve Chidori into Purple Lightning himself and it's not that surprising given the fact that everything Boruto is able to do so far with his new variant of his Rasengan and learning Flying Raijin right Another one that's really impressive is we see that Bruto is now able to fly like every other Otosuki. So again, this probably shows us where Bruto came in when he stepped on Code's face. And I know I keep referencing Code, but man, that whole scene was just too funny. But we see now that Bruto has been able to master probably most of his Otosuki abilities. Now, it's still up in air whether he's been able to master the Jogon, but I'm guessing he has, but he just hasn't been pushed hard enough for him to be able to pull out the Jogon. That's what I think. I just don't think anyone's pushed him hard enough for him to feel like he's needed to use the Jogon. But now, let's move on to Mitsuki because we're going to move on to Mitsuki's Sage Mode, which wow is very impressive now Mitsuki knowing snake sage mode is very impressive obviously right we don't know if snake sage mode is stronger than sage mode but i'd probably guess probably yes because one it seems like sage mode is easier to learn right because we've had so many toad sage mode users we've had naruto jiraiya minato and maybe Boruto because he was training with kashin kojin right so we've seen a lot of people have toad sage mode but we've not seen a lot of people have snake sage mode and the only people we've seen have snake sage mode is obviously Orochimaru and Kabuto with Kabuto being the only one that has been able to fully master it. Now the first thing we 
we see Mitsuki do is put Kawaki to sleep. Now, I don't know whether to use this as a feat or not because he might have just caught Kawaki off guard, right? Because Kawaki probably wouldn't be expecting Mitsuki to attack him. But if it wasn't just an off guard feat and he was just able to put Kawaki to sleep, I mean, it's very impressive Kawaki being an Otosuki, the fact that he was able to put Kawaki to sleep. Now, is this really part of his snake stage world? No, but it's still impressive and it shows how strong he's got with his snakes. Another thing he does is he manages to catch Bruto off guard. But again, I don't know whether to use this as a feat because again, it could have just been because Bruto was suppressing his chakra. And I don't know if by suppressing your chakra, it lowers your senses. I don't know about that. So again, I was a bit hesitant to use this, but if it's the case that he was just able to catch Bruto off guard, it's still very, very impressive. Now he uses a new ability called, and let me just look at my phone here, Striking Shadow Snake Assault, right? Where basically loads of big snakes come up from the ground, right? And this is a very impressive ability because Bruto feels like he has to use purple lightning. Now we know Bruto knows Chidori and all that. So the fact that Bruto feels like he has to go straight to purple lightning, probably one of the strongest variants of lightning, goes to show how strong this ability is. And Bruto also also has to fly away now again with this feat i don't i don't want to keep criticizing it but one mitsuki is trying to kill Bruto, whereas Bruto is just trying to get away from mitsuki so it could be that Bruto just doesn't want to kill mitsuki so again i don't know whether to be really impressed by this ability or not because Bruto, he doesn't seem too worried. He does seem a bit worried when he uses it because he has to use purple lightning to obviously cut the snakes down. But obviously, Bruto is not trying to kill Mitsuki because it's still his friend at the end of the day. And his brain has obviously been messed. He's obviously been brainwashed, right? So I don't know whether to be too impressed by these feats. But I will say it's still impressive, right? Now, we don't get to see too much of Mitsuki's abilities with his Sage Mode. But for what I can guess, right? And this is just a hyper not really a hypothetical but it's an educated guess right so obviously because he's half orochimaru right and orochimaru was in kabuto and i think orochimaru does have all of kabuto's abilities that kabuto got he should be able to use all the abilities that snake sage mode kabuto had which includes jugo's clan ability where he's able to passively pull in snake chakra energy which would explain why he's able to use it better and why he's able to move with snake sage mode right while keeping it active two he might have karen's regenerable regenerable <laughs> regener regen is that the right word regenerable regener that's the right word right guys but you know karen's ability where sasuke bites her arm right and this ability basically works sasuke used to bite her arm and he would get chakra from it right and also she could use that ability on herself so he might have that and that also might explain why he's able to use snake sage mode for longer now because if we see before it used to hurt his body a long time or it could just be because of the time skip and he's gotten stronger right also he might have the abilities of all the sound five ninja but again that is just speculation we don't actually know if he has that but that's just a speculation that i have because he is half Hirochimaru. plus we don't know what his other half is yet i don't think they've actually said so he could have more abilities in store for us obviously most of what i just said is speculation but still snake sage mode meets Ski. if he does live up to the full potential what we've heard from snake sage mode right because we know snake sage mode it is harsh acquire you literally have to get bitten by the white snake right and most people who've got bitten by it haven't even survived right so from the hype of snake sage mode i would say that mitsuki will definitely be one of the strongest characters now will he be strong enough to beat bruto right now sorry about that i didn't mean to hit that guys will he be strong enough i don't think so but he will at least push bruto to the point where he's gonna have to get serious right because even bruto says i'm gonna have to get serious and one more thing right when bruto flies away right and lands and he's talking to shikomaru right Minsky catches up with bruto fairly quickly so this shows me that at least, right, at least Mitsuki is fast enough to catch up to Baruta while he's flying. So not only might he have all the abilities that I've just named, but he's also way more faster to be able to catch up to a flying Otosuki. Guys, let me know what you think. Maybe I missed out some stuff. If I did, let me know in the comments below. This battle should be very, very interesting. And I really can't wait for this battle to happen. And I can't wait for it to get animated, right? Because it should be very, very good. But look... 
this has been anime k like and subscribe share the video come back here for more brutal content because i do want to look over the manga again and see if i can talk about everything else or sorry anything else or see if i missed anything and yeah this has been anime k thank you for watching listening or however you choose to indulge in my content and peace i am out <laughs>